Number 1. Pander 2 8x8 Pander 2 8x8 Armored Personnel Carrier is an improved version of the Pander 1 6x6 wheeled armored vehicle produced by General Dynamics European Land System Stair. The vehicle is currently in service with the Czech Army, Austrian Army, Indonesian Armed Forces TNI, and the Portuguese Armed Forces. Pander 2 APC offers seating for 14 troops, including crew, and can be integrated with modular, scalable armored solutions for protection against ballistic threats, mines, IEDs, and rocket-propelled grenades RPGs. The SP-30 turret atop the Pander 2 is armed with a Mauser 30mm Mk-32 cannon. While vehicles used by the Czech Army are equipped with Rafael RCWS-30 mounting and an ATK Mk-44 30mm cannon. Secondary armament includes a 7.62mm machine gun and 76mm smoke grenade launchers. The vehicle has a maximum speed of 105 km per hour and a range of 700 km. Number 2. Boomerang, Russia The Boomerang is a new generation of Russian armored personnel carrier. It was developed to replace the BTR series APCs. The Boomerang was first publicly revealed in 2015, during the same year a handful of pre-production vehicles were delivered to the Russian Army. Initially, it was planned that full-scale production could begin in 2016. The Boomerang is a clean sheet design. It is not based on any previous Russian APC. Actually, it resembles Western wheeled armored vehicles. Design flaws of the previous Soviet and Russian APCs, such as rear-mounted engine, side exit, and cramped crew compartment, were fixed. It is believed that maximum level of all-round protection with add-on armor is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. Vehicle has a V-shaped hull and can survive mine blasts. The Boomerang is fitted with remotely controlled turret. Armed with a 30mm cannon, coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, and four launchers with Cornet M anti-tank guided missiles. There is also a version armed with a single 12.7mm machine gun. Number 3. Ares, United Kingdom The Ares is a modern armored vehicle from the British. It is not a typical carrier vehicle for the infantry section, but rather a specialized team carrier vehicle. This modern armored personnel carrier is technologically advanced. It has modular protection and innovative protection from mine blasts. It is believed to be the best in its class in terms of safety and survivability. This provides a high degree of protection against small arms fire splinters of artillery shells, and mine blasts. The crew and passengers sit on resistant mine blast seats. This armored personnel carrier is also equipped with a laser alert system, an electronic counter global positioning system, a GPS, a local situational awareness system, and several other systems. The Ares appears to be one of today's most secured armored vehicles available. The weight of the Ares vehicle is about 30 tons. Its weight is raised to about 40 tons with add-on protection, thus the level of protection of the Ares should be equivalent to that of a well-protected infantry troop transport. Number 4. M1296 Dragoon, USA The M1296 Dragoon is an improved version with considerably increased lethality of the M1126 Striker. Infantry Carrier Vehicle Dragoon, or ICVD, is its official name. In 2017, the first operational M1296 Dragoon was delivered to the United States Army. A well-protected and well-armed APC is the M1296 Dragoon. However, it lacks protections for a true wheeled IFV. It is still better protected, however, than many modern armored personnel carriers, including Russian and Chinese models. The highest level of all-round defense is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds with add-on ceramic armor. This vehicle was designed to survive blasts from mines. It is claimed that in terms of quality of life against mines and improvised explosive devices, the Striker series vehicles are superior to other armored vehicles. Steel cages, called slat protection, can be mounted with dragoons used in war zones and provide protection against anti-tank rockets and missiles. Recently, an explosive reactive armor kit was designed for this vehicle. The M1296 Dragoon is fitted with unmanned turret, armed with a 30mm cannon, it can effectively engage light armored vehicles up to a range of 3,000 meters. 
This cannon also fires airburst rounds that explode above the target. It allows to hit people hiding in trenches and behind walls. These rounds are also effective against unmanned aerial vehicles. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Number 5. Terex One of the most advanced armored personnel carriers is the Terex. It entered service with the Armed Forces of Singapore in 2006. The highest all-around defense standard is against armor-piercing rounds of 14.5mm. There is a double V-shaped hull in the tank, which deflects mine blasts from the tank. The Terex can survive an explosion of up to 12 kilograms of TNT under the hull, and the vehicle continues to roll. The standard version is armed with an automatic 40mm grenade launcher and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun that is remotely controlled. Alternatively, it can be fitted with a 12.7mm machine gun that is remotely controlled. It had a powerful engine with an amphibious feature producing 400 horsepower. Thanks to its powerful engine and advanced independent suspension system, this armored personnel carrier is extremely mobile. Number 6. LAV 6.0 The LAV UP, or LAV 6.0, is an updated version of the LAV-3 Kodiak. A contract for the upgrading of 616 Army LAV-3 vehicles to the new standard was awarded to General Dynamics Land Systems. These will form the backbone of the armored carrier fleet of Canadians. A total of 900 LAV-6.0 armored vehicles in various versions will be supplied to Saudi Arabia. LAV-6.0 armored personnel carriers armed with 20 to 30 mm cannons were ordered by Saudi Arabia. The upgraded LAV 6.0 has a greater weight than the original LAV 3, a fully upgraded carrier measuring over 28 tons with an add-on armor pack. While many of the key design features are enhanced, security is enhanced. It is actually one of the world's most protected armored personnel carriers. LAV 6.0 has a two-man turret, fitted with a 25mm chain gun from the M242 Bushmaster. This weapon has an effective 2.4km range. A coaxial 7.62mm machine gun is also available and another 5.56mm machine gun is located on top of the roof. Number 7. Boxer APC The Boxer APC version is one of the world's best armored personnel carriers produced by Artec, a joint venture between Krauss Maffei Wegmann and Rheinmetall. Primarily operated by German Army, the Boxer APC can safely transport 11 occupants including three crew and eight infantrymen. The vehicle is integrated with spaced and sloped armor solutions for protection against mines, IEDs, and ballistic threats. It protects the crew from anti-tank and anti-personnel mines, bomblets, and artillery shells, as well as offers all-around ballistic protection against arms up to 14.5 millimeters at a 30-degree elevation. FLW-200 remote-controlled light weapon station aboard the vehicle is installed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The vehicle also supports IDZ, Infantrymen of the Future, technology developed by the German Army. The Boxer armored personnel carrier has a top speed of 103km per hour and a class-leading range of 1,050km. Number 8. I-10, Israel The I-10, Hebrew for persistent, is a new Israeli APC. It was developed to meet requirements of the Israeli Defense Force. Actually, it's the first wheeled 8x8 APC developed in Israel. For a modern APC, the I-10 has a traditional layout. It is well secured and weighs about 30 to 35 tons. It may potentially be one of the world's most protected wheeled APCs. For better protection against mines and improvised explosive devices, the vehicle has a V-shaped hull. However, so far there were no official data regarding its ballistic and mine protection. The front arc is most likely to survive 25-30mm to 30 millimeter cannon hits, and the all-round protection is against armor-piercing rounds of 12.7mm or 14.5mm. It is probable that this vehicle was designed to withstand blasts equal to 10kg of TNT in terms of mine protection. The I-10 will be equipped with the advanced active defense system of the Iron Fist. Number 9. Piranha 5 The Piranha 5 is the latest member of the family of Piranha multi-role wheeled armored vehicles manufactured by MOAG, now known as General Dynamics European Land Systems MOAG. 
The Piranha 5 armored personnel carrier accommodates 13 personnel in a well-protected armored hull, which resists the impact of mines, IEDs, and EFP threats. The vehicle can be fitted with an active protection system and add-on armor, offering various levels of protection with more than 95% coverage. With a maximum level of protection, the Piranha 5 withstands 25mm armor-piercing rounds. A vehicle with a V-shaped hull has a double floor and is well secured against landmines and IED blasts. Under any wheel, it withstands a 10kg anti-tank mine blast. With an active protection system, this APC is also available. This vehicle is proposed in the APC configuration with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, while heavier weapons may also be fitted. An up-armored and well-armed Piranha 5 can be even considered as a wheeled infantry fighting vehicle. Number 10. Patria AMV XP As you'll notice quite quickly, these modern-day military personnel vehicles all have that odd, almost flat front end, and that is what connects them to the teaser released by Musk. This is the Patria AMV XP. It's a newer, improved, and more capable version of the Patria AMV, which is currently one of the best armored personnel carriers in the world. The XP here implies extra payload, protection, and performance. It was first publicly revealed in 2013. Slovakia placed a big order for this carrier and will see some 81 delivered by 2024. The vehicle has the highest combat weight of 30 tons. It is heavier than the standard AMV, which is already one of the massive and most protected armored personnel vehicles in the world. A well-armed Patria AMV XP can be used as a wheeled infantry fighting vehicle IFV, given its defense levels. In association with the Finnish Defense Force, the Patria AMV was created. It was announced back in 2001. There is significant export success for this APC. Croatia, Poland, and Slovenia are the export operators. This armored vehicle was also ordered by some other countries. The armored personnel carrier, APC version of the Patria AMV, is fitted with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun and a Patria PML 127 OWS turret. The vehicle's maximum speed exceeds 100 km per hour and an operational range of 800 km. Share your ideas with us in the comment section. That's it from this video. We hope you liked it. The comment section is all yours. Do tell us your suggestions about next videos. Bye!